हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग दिस यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेनलेस स्टील इन टर्म्स ऑफ ट्री स्ट्रक्चर सो हियर यू कैन सी द ट्री दैट स्टार्ट्स विद द प्लेन कार्बन स्टील एंड बाय एडिशन ऑफ क्रोमियम एंड निकेल वी आर इंक्रीजिंग द कोरोजन रजिस्टेंस एंड वी आर गेटिंग द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टेनलेस स्टील सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन इन विच वी आर एडिंग द थर्टीन परसेंट क्रोमियम so this will uh, leads to the martensitic stainless steel and further if you can increase the uh, this uh, chromium content to uh, this uh, till 18% so it will uh, provide you the ferritic stainless steel and then further if you will increase a uh, nickel uh, around 10% nickel in this 18% chromium as well as some molybdenum it will increase the further corrosion resistance and that will uh, leads to the third type of stainless steel Uh, which is austenitic stainless steel and there is another one uh, stainless steel which is called a duplex in which if we can increase the chromium content in this ferritic as well as if we can add 5% nickel this will uh, leads to the duplex stainless steel so all these uh, four types of stainless steel has a different microstructure and there is one another uh, stainless steel that we called a precipitation hardened stainless steel so let's uh, discuss about the microstructure of these uh, different types of stainless steel so now in this martensitic stainless steel the uh, this microstructure in this microstructure uh, you can see the this um, uh, martensitic microstructure with lathe or uh, there is another uh, lathe or plate type of microstructure you can get it and then in ferritic stainless steel the ferritic microstructure the majority of the microstructure will having a ferrite content and similarly for this you have austenitic microstructure and in duplex you have a uh, mixed of austenite as well as ferrite so the combination of austenite plus ferritic and most pro uh, most probably you will get 50% austenite as well as 50% ferrite so this microstructure is looks like this uh, there are different standards as well like american iron and steel institute that we called as aisi standard so for this martensitic for example we have aisi 420 similarly for uh, this uh, ferritic stainless steel we have aisi 430 and similarly for uh, austenitic stainless steel we have aisi 304 as well as aisi 316 so these are the important uh, Uh, stainless steel reference standards that we are uh, used for uh, austenitic stainless steel that is AISI 304 AISI 316 similarly for ferritic it is AISI 430 and similarly for martensitic it is AISI 420 so there are different applications of stainless steel so in terms of percentage we can say that in petrochemical and energy sector it is used in 12 to 14% these stainless steel in process industries it is used at 18 to 20% in transport industry it is used as 12 to 14% in building architecture and urban furnishing it is used as 16 to 18% and in uh, in appliance and household items it is used in 34 to 36% so in household uh, the, the, in appliance and household items it is the majority of the stainless steel are used and then in process industries and then in uh, uh, building architecture and urban uh, this furnishing and then petrochemical and energy and transport sector so these are the different applications where we can use this uh, different types of stainless steels so <coughs> so finally we can uh, uh, this conclude that stainless steels are mainly used uh, this because of their excellent resistance to corrosion and it is perhaps for this region that corrosion is the most typical form of operating degradation so for different application it is used because of it has highly uh, resistance to corrosion so thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any uh, uh, any questions you can write in the comment section thank you so much